hey guys so this was generated by ai this was the original image and using a text prompt i got this amazing result right in photoshop i just had to type in beautiful eyes and click on generate to get this beautiful eye like this and there are three variations to this but i prefer the first one and if for your case you don't even want any of this you can come and click on generate again and it will go on to generate even more variations to this prompt you typed in isn't this amazing previously we have to go and download png search for png low quality png on google download them and try to manipulate them into our uh, images and sometimes the result come out very bad but if you are very skilled it can come out nice and all that but with photoshop generative view you can easily get amazing result with just a text prompt if you don't already have the narrative fee on your photoshop you can check the link in the description or check the pinned comment where i dropped a link on how to get the photoshop generative feel running on your pc or your mac for absolutely free something i want to let you know about the generative feel is this the photoshop generative feel works online but the photoshop itself runs on your desktop locally or if you want to access features like generative feel you have to be connected to the internet so that is just something I want you to take note of. You can see, let me know how you find this result in the comment section. To me, it is so amazing. And uh, I'll be using this in my workflow. So if you are finding it difficult to get the generative field running on your PC, let me know the problem you are facing in the comment section right now. I've also put out a video on <coughs> The system requirements for getting generative field running on your desktop so you can check channel for that video also if you have any question photography photo editing related let me know in the comment section right now if you are finding any problem in your photo editing process let me know in the comment section so that i can put out a solution to that please like this video if you find it helpful or insightful subscribe to this channel and turn on the notification so that you'll be the first notified when put out more helpful tips tricks and photography tutorials happy to be part of your creative journey see you in another amazing tutorial